Hi guys, Josh Staten here with Mount Comfort RV Rental Department. Today I'm going to take you through the 261 Salem Cruise Light BHXL. This is the bunkhouse model in our travel trailer fleet. It's pretty popular and books out real far in advance because of the bunk beds. Going down the main side here, the camp side, here's a compartment for you. It's got a lot of storage, goes through, passes all the way through. You can see there's a 2 and 5 16 ball in there. Um, we're going to supply you with the hitch work you need to tow this out of here. The only thing that you need to have before you come is a brake controller. Um, we can go through all that as we, as we get you booked. Stabilizer jack, here's one of them. I'll show you there. There's actually four. There's one on all four corners of this. We'll show you how to crank that down. Basically, you're just going to take tension off the tires to get the uh, wobble out of the trailer. You can see here is an electric awning. Inside, it's a push button. Pretty easy to roll out. Storm, storms coming or wind, you're just going to roll that in. You don't want to have any damage done to it. You got an outlet plug here. Um, if you got the crock pot out here, anything you need to plug in. Um, and then you've got some outside speakers here. It's pretty nice. We'll show you the radio on the inside. You can turn on A or B and play the music outside, inside, both, whatever, enjoy, whatever enjoyment you'll have for that. Water heater here. You won't have to get into the water heater. We'll show you where to light that on the inside. On the back side, here's the fresh water fill. Um, I don't typically fill the travel trailers unless you tell me to. Uh, most people want to have them empty. They want to just stay as light as they can. But this is where you fill the fresh water. We'll talk about that when you pick up. In the bumper here is where we keep the sewage hose. Again, we'll go through all the uh, do's and don'ts with that. That goes right here on this side. It's just a cap that screws off. You've got the black and gray valve. Black is the toilet, gray is the shower and sinks. We'll show you how to do that and stay stay clean and sanitary when you uh, pick up. 30 amp cable, or 30 amp cord, I'm sorry, is right here. I'm gonna send you out of here with an adapter that goes up to 50 amp. You call the campground, they say all we've got is 50, no big deal. You've got the amperage to go, you got the plug in to go either way, whatever they've got for you. Back side of the refrigerator, you won't have to get in there. We can do everything from the inside. City water connection, if you've got water where you're parked, this is where you're gonna hook the water hose. That bypasses the water tank and goes directly to the water heater and faucets and things like that. Furnace here, if you do have the furnace running, this will put out some heat, so you wanna be careful what you've got outside here around that area. And then lastly, this is the other side of the um, compartment. You can see there's the water hose we supply with you, uh, the dump hose, things like that. On the front here, You've got two 20 pound LP tanks. We'll top those off when you pick up. You don't have to fill those up when you bring them back. If you do run out, don't exchange the tanks. You know, get them, get them filled up, leave the same tanks on here. Um, and again, we'll go through the pickup, or we'll go through the hookup for you. Uh, we've got the weight distribution, things like that you need. Again, you just need the brake controller. Uh, that's it for the outside. Let's go inside and take a look. Hi guys, Josh here with Mount Comfort RV, the rental department. We're inside the 261 travel trailer uh, bunkhouse. We'll show you those when we get to the back. Up front here, you got a queen. This is a short queen. You can see we take the covers off. Most people want to supply their own sheets. Um, so you want to bring those, your own pillows, things like that. On the side there, you've got two hanging closets. Um, and you've got a nice mirror there so you can see. Make sure you look pretty before you head out into the campground. Lights are above the bed. You've got a, a ton of lights. It lights up good. You've got a plug-in on each side and a little place to set, uh, you know, your cell phone at night when you're charging her. I know that a lot of people now have the PAP machines, so you can bring those and you've got room for those. Um, smoke detectors in the bedroom. You do have a curtain that'll pull across, give you a little bit of privacy if need be. Uh, your couch, just like uh, it's a futon, like anybody that knows RVs knows, you just lift up on the front and it drops down. There's one bed for you, see how that was pretty quick. Hey, see and furnace controls over here. We'll go through those when you pick up, show you how to use all that stuff. Storage along the top here in the kitchen. And then you've got a nice high rise sink faucet here with a light in the kitchen for you, double bowl. Three burner cooktop stove. You just turn the ignition here, hit the spark and you've got your flames, you're ready to cook. You do have a fan and a light so you can get rid of that stuff as you're cooking. Microwave here works just like your microwave at home. Pretty simple to use. Refrigerator, you've got an ice, ice maker up top. We're gonna to turn that on a couple days before you pick up. Refrigerator, all that stuff gets nice and cold. 
Um, it's a nice feature. That's gas or electric. It'll work off both. You've got the dinette over here. I'm not going to show you how to make that in the bed, but virtually the legs come off of this table. The table sits in front here, and then the cushions just slide across, and you've got a bed. Moving back here to the bunk area, you've got a nice big bed on the bottom, a little bit shallower, skinnier bed up on top. Uh, I think the weight limit on that's 150 pounds, but you can get you know two. You can get at least two kids back here. Sometimes you can get three back here. Opening up the bathroom here, I'll get out of the way. You got a nice tub, you can take a shower, you've got the toilet, we'll show you how all that works with the foot flush. And then actually if you shut this door, then you've got your sink and a medicine cabinet outside here. We'll go through all that when you pick up. Uh, we'll we'll conclude the RV toilet paper, we'll include the chemicals you need, you know, if you, if you got an odor, notice anything. Um, this trailer weighs about 4,500 pounds, so we want your vehicle to be able to tow 5,500 pounds. And again, you got to have the brake controller in it. I'll supply you with the rest of the stuff. So, uh, again, this is a trailer bunkhouse, no slide, but it's popular. We book out real far. You know, we're always three, four months in advance. So, uh, call me and see what we got available for you and see if we can't get you into it.